Quenching America's thirst for fossil fuels means tapping into another precious resource, water. Coal bed methane is natural gas. It can heat your home, but getting it out of the ground requires pumping out water that traps the gas in coal seams. The result is a glut of methane water, and finding what to do with it has created conflicts between drilling companies and landowners in Wyoming's Powder River Basin. Even here, where water is typically scarce and water rights fiercely guarded, ranchers don't want this methane water. I absolutely don't want this water. Even if this was, was the best water in the world, this country can't take that much water. Although methane water is often clean enough to drink, it contains salts that can stunt plant growth. It can also alter the types of plants that will grow as more salt-resistant species take over. This was all hay meadows with native blue stem natural grass. This old stuff that nothing will eat, that's what the, these whole meadows are coming to. All this water also changes the soil, creating a hard pan surface that retards plant growth. In the Powder River Basin, when methane water floods a ranch, it often flows across bottomlands, damaging the most productive areas. Rancher Nancy Sorensen agreed to let a drilling company build a holding pit on her property, calling it a necessary compromise. One thing that it does do, as near as we can tell, is it prevents water from going downstream through the water course onto our neighbor's land. But these water storage pits aren't perfect. Most are unlined, and water can seep underground into nearby streams. And they can rupture, like the water pit that burst its banks last fall, spilling its contents into the Clear Creek drainage. The company says the methane water never reached the creek, but the landowners are still worried because they use water from the creek to irrigate salt-sensitive crops. They take their own water samples to monitor water quality. Recently, there was a uh, breach in a reservoir right above here where there was over three million gallons of water, salty water, that came down the draws. Nothing but water, 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 water. The landowners no also spring. worry that all the pumping could lead to water shortages in the future. According to a recent state report, Drilling has lowered water tables and altered the flows of groundwater. The bark will start Rancher Gary right Packard says five artesian wells ran dry on his property after drilling occurred nearby. The gas industry disputes any connection, so Packard is paying to drill new wells to water his cattle. Wyoming State Geological Survey has recommended placing a moratorium on drilling in two of the basin's drainages, stating the amount of retrievable gas might not be worth the consequences of methane water. The Petroleum Association of Wyoming agrees that drilling permits should be revoked in areas that cannot show a contribution to gas production. But some wells can take years of pumping water to produce gas, so it wants drilling decisions made on a case-by-case -case basis and objects to any moratoriums. Landowners worry about what will be left here after the energy boom ends. For Packard's neighbor, the damage has already been done. This is the heart of a ranch. Your, your bottoms, your draw bottoms, this is the heart of it. When you take the heart out of it, you don't have much left. For Assignment Earth on Yahoo News, this is Gary Stryker.